Suppose you had a function here, f of x equals x plus 5. That's the same thing as saying y equals x plus 5, right? Remember how, if, if you don't remember, here it is. Uh, f of x and y are the same thing. They're interchangeable when we're talking about function notation. So if I said find uh, f of 2, it's pretty simple to do. You just come up here, and everywhere you see an x, you put a 2. So to find f of 2, it's like saying 2 plus 5 which is 7. So f of 2 is 7. Well, that's, so what that means is I plug a 2 in here, right? 2 plus 5 equals 7, or y equals 7, right? Because remember, they're interchangeable. So the, if, you think of, if you think of this example here, the x value was 2. That means the y value was 7. So if you wrote f of 2 equals 7, that's the same thing as writing a point. Like you're going to plot points, you know, over 2 and up 7. Well, that's the same thing, 2 comma 7. So you can, you can rewrite points in what I call function notation. So for instance, if I said uh, rewrite f of negative 2 equals 5, what is that as a point? If you want to plot that point, well, the x value was negative 2. You plugged it into some function and you got a 5 out of it. The y value, the output, was 5. So as a point, that would be negative 2, 5. So this right here is nothing more than a different way of writing a point. The x value is here, which is an input, and then the y value is over here, which is the output. So if you're given a question where they don't give you the function, they actually just give you a graph of the function. Here it says use the graphs of functions f and g to answer the problem. Here's the graph of f, and here's the graph of g. Well, it wants us to find f divided by g of 0. Well, f over g of 0 is the same thing as finding f of 0 divided by g of 0. So let's figure out what these are. Well, you remember, just a second ago, this value right here, that's the x value. That's the x value. So if I go to an x value of 0 on the x-axis, 0 would be right here. What would, the y, what would the y value be for that point? Well, here it is. That point there is 0, 1. So that means f of 0 is equal to 1. What if it was different? What if it said find f of 2? Well, we go over here to 2 and see what the y-coordinate is. 1. See that point right there? It is 2, comma, 1. So f of 2 is equal to 1. So it's just a fancy way of asking you to plot points. So f of 0 is 1. So that's what I'm going to put up here at the top, a 1. What is g of 0? Well, g of 0 is right here. Here's your x value of 0. So the point that correlates to that would be this one. That point is 0, comma, one, two, three, four. Zero comma four. So g of zero is equal to four. So right here, I'm going to put a four. So that means the overall answer would have been f over g of zero would be equal to one fourth. Let's try another one. Let's try another one here. Let's try one. So uh, what if it was f uh, over g? of 3. Okay, so well, that's like finding f of 3 over g of 3. Well, f, here's a function f. We'll go over here to 3. What is it? Uh, 0, right? Here's where the x value is 3, the y value is 0. g of 3. 1, 2, 3. There's the x value of 3, and that correlates to a y value of 2. And 0 divided by 2? 0. So graphing function notation with graphs is nothing more than just plotting points.